Good morning. It's oh, uh, 7 a.m. My clock is wrong on my coffee pot. And I am in the process of brewing my second espresso for the morning. And I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about Camp Nano Um I love this sound. So, while this does its job, I am, oh, like right at 5,200 words for day, the end of day six, because this is the morning of day seven. I have yet to put it in Camp NaNoWriMo's website because I haven't got on the computer yet um, for that, and, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm, it's getting better. I really enjoyed um, the camp in April. I liked having the cabin with um, so many people that I know in it this time around. I'm in, um, I'm in my own little private cabin, I guess I should say, which is cool because li I will literally be in a cabin the week of my birthday in Gatlinburg, Tennessee for vacation. I'm rather excited. I'm going to pour my coffee and then talk to you guys. And welcome to day seven of Camp NaNoWriMo. But here is where I'm writing. And what you see. And that's what my computer screen looks like when it's not got the screensaver on it and it doesn't say you should be writing and that will come on very soon and this is to remind me that I have to get up I have to move around and this is to remind me that there isn't anything perfect I decide to look past those imperfections and I move forward And there's my cup of coffee. That's a little makeup bag. And this is my fountain pen. And my writer's Bible. Along with my One Book July art journal. And my new insert. And another writing book. And I finally figured out. And I am following, like I said, Susan Denard's where you take accountability.
you see my bookshelves my saddleback leather laptop carrier It's Burgess Taylor. So, Camp Nan or Wymo, the end of day six. I am at approximately 5,172 words. 5,172. I'm actually a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, my word count goal is 20,000. So, that's actually pretty good. Um, I procrastinated. I couldn't really write. Um, for a couple of days because of the pain sitting at the computer reaching out like that really hurt my shoulder um, you know it's a pain in the butt but I am um, in the process of uh, about to start writing I have um, checked Facebook checked YouTube checked everything I think except Instagram and Twitter um, for this morning. I usually give myself about an hour to do all of that stuff and then I have my candle lit. I'm ready to go. Um, I've got my black pink thing going on. Um, I have a highlighter and a little pen. The little pen is for the... Um, I even have the pink thing and the pink I have that over it right now so you don't see my address because I'm in the process of editing and rewriting some things from a previous NaNoWriMo event um, and I took a long break from it months and went back and looked at it and oh wow that's actually pretty good which is you know that's saying something because I don't often talk about my writing as in being pretty good I am my own worst critic by far so but what's going on sit down have a cup of coffee with me and let's talk about Camp NaNoWriMo and writing just you know just chit chat about writing because I've noticed as I go through the month during a NaNoWriMo type event, I'm either procrastinating or I am writing to the point where I am in that zone and I don't eat. Um, I barely breathe, it seems like sometimes. So it, it seems to, I, I like when I'm in the middle ground, when I'm kind of in the, I like being just a little into the zone where I'm writing and I'm doing really well. And, um, but I can still kind of remember to eat. Sometimes, um, that doesn't really happen. So I have a stick it note on my computer to remind me to get up and move around. And I have started kind of making a little note to myself so that about every hour on the hour I am getting up from my desk and walking around I go check the mail I um, go clean out my pool um, during the day now after lunchtime I'm taking an hour break and I have a little kiddie pool it's not very big I'm going to add some video you know it's going to be a little tiny bit of a day in the life thing um, to this but I have a kiddie pool and I go outside and I sit in my lawn chair and 
I write down notes about what I um, think about my writing for that day, what my goals are for that day, what I'm thinking about the character. And I do a little bit of art journaling. And I do that for like 30 minutes outside, getting some fresh air, some much needed vitamin D, getting a tiny bit of sun. Um, and then after that 30 minutes of doing all that, then I'll go lay in my pool, laid back with my head, my neck on the cushiony part because it's a little blow up kitty pool. My arms outstretched and I lay back in the pool and I just enjoy the sunshine. And um, I do that for about 15 minutes just relaxing and enjoying it and then I turn over and I close my eyes and um, with you know I have my head kind of tilted on the top part and I kind of turn over to the side and I'll just look out you know the trees and stuff and relax close my eyes and enjoy the peace and quiet the birds singing um, the wind going through the trees that kind of thing and once I the 10 minutes or so are up then I'll dry off I get out the pool to dry off and I grab my book my writer's Bible which let me get my fountain, fountain pen out of the way as I've showed plenty of times, this is my writer's Bible. Now I found this for $1.99 at TJ Maxx. I really, I love this. And then I found another because I use these insert notebooks. I love this one too. I use these insert notebooks in my writer's Bible. I've started following Susan Denard's like her writer journal writing journal and um, I found that it really helps to write down your goals your word count what you're doing so you can um, be accountable and I think so far so good it's really helping me and that's a lot of people are like, how do you use so many journals? How do you keep up with everything? Well, those that's my writing stuff that has nothing to do with um, my actual journaling journaling. Um, because I have ADHD, I tend to lose focus and I get distracted easily. And for as long as I can remember, I have made little to-do lists, little checklists. And I go through, when I was at work, when I worked at a finance company, I had one of those yellow tablets, would make my list, and as the day went through, I would make a check mark if I um, was doing it, and then once I was done, I'd just draw one line through it. I still needed to see it, because by the end of the day, I wanted to know what all I had done and what I still needed to do and didn't get to. It helps me stay focused, and if I lose my attention and I get distracted and I forget I can go back to my list and go okay what was I working on because that's gonna have the check mark what did I finish I have the line so I still kind of do that and I'm trying to do that with my writing I'm trying to do that with some of the art journaling I'm doing that I do that with household stuff um, everything and I'm participating in what is called one book July but that has to do more with like the planning because I kind of suck at planning. I'm great with the art journaling and, and writing journaling and regular journaling, personal journaling. I'm great with that stuff. Um, but I was noticing that I was kind of, I was had too many, my hand was in too many cookie jars. So I needed to kind of condense things. Wanted to figure out something that would work for me as far as being organized and stuff goes. And I'm actually learning a lot. So. There we go with that. Um, I will make a video probably this afternoon or tomorrow about so far my week one with uh, the One Book July Challenge. And I need to do a flip through of my art journal, but that really has nothing to do with Camp Nana Rama. So, but I was talking about like the notebooks and the inserts and journaling and being busy. And maybe that does have to do with Camp Nana Rama. 
because there are a lot of other things going on in my life, not just writing. So how do you balance those things and keep up with all of those things? And how do you find time to write and how do you not procrastinate? Well, if you really are a procrastinator, I, I don't I, I don't have any words of wisdom for you. Um, I guess you try to find things that are on the higher priority portion of your things you need to do and you try to at least do those things and not really procrastinate with those things because honestly there are some things you just can't procrastinate with uh, I don't I don't procrastinate very much when it comes to like maintenance on the car or when it comes to my personal health or my hygiene for the most part now when I'm really busy like during November's NaNoWriMo um, and I get swamped you know, I've got on pajamas and my hair is a wreck. And I think probably all I do do is take a shower, brush my teeth. And that that's that's where my hygiene put on deodorant. <laughs> but that's when you're when you know, when you're really really into the groove and you you've got an intense writing session going on constantly and you have a deadline that you need to meet. But otherwise, um, I think for me, what keeps me motivated so that I don't procrastinate as much, because I do procrastinate, uh, I have this goal. And that goal is because of my dream. My dream is to get at least one book of mine published. Um, that that's, that's my goal. That's my dream. Is I would like to publish multiple books. So in order to get my book published and fulfill my dream, I need to have goals so that I can accomplish that. And one of the goals has to be to write the damn book. Because if I don't write the damn book, I'm never going to publish it. I won't have anything to publish because I didn't write it. So the last few years... I have been participating in NaNoWriMo events because I took a long hiatus away from writing like this. I was a journalism major, an English major, I switched majors and I switched to psychology. When I graduated from high school a long time ago, I had a journalism scholarship. I turned it down um, out of for a number of reasons that I regret now. Um, funds time being afraid to go away from home um, my boyfriend at the time all kinds of different reasons but mostly it was the not having enough money but I didn't know back then what I know now so going to college later on in life and then realizing like some things and then I had to take um, breaks from college for a number of reasons um, as a parent, it was really difficult being a single parent and trying to work full time and trying to go to school full time. And, uh, but now I have the time to devote to writing full time. And I think because I consider the writing to be my job and the art journaling and the photography and the do it yourself projects to be my hobbies, sometimes. I find myself wishing <laughs> that I've chosen photography as the job, um, but I love I love writing. I do, and I think that's one of the things that saves me from procrastinating so much is that no matter how much time I take away from it, or how many breaks, or how much I procrastinate, the I actually go through withdrawals when I'm not writing. So. And the more I journal, like personal journaling, the more I'm wanting to get at the computer and to write. And I have lately, the last six months, done a lot more writing with pen and paper to get the ideas going and to find my way through certain parts, through writer's block, through procrastination. And it really helps me. Um, there's something visceral about putting your, putting the pen to paper and writing that you don't really get sometimes with a computer. 
So uh, my number one tip for today is that don't procrastinate. Sit your butt in the chair and write. Honestly, just write. You're not going to get it done if you don't start it. And the hardest part about it is just starting it. So if you need to, just type your name or write your name or write the word write or write today's date or I guess I probably should do of what's in my bag. And it is Shark Week. I had on my Jaws t-shirt yesterday. And last night I watched the first Jaws movie. I have it on DVD. And I don't know if you can see their books. And we're back to where it started. Along with the pile of stuff 